What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome and in this episode I'm going to be talking about Chris Reed and why Chris Reed needs to take that starting spot over Mark Lewinsky now sooner than later. Mark Lewinsky has been very good for the Colts over the last two or three years. You know the year before he got the contract extension he had, he had his breakout year he was very good. Then, you know, two years after that, he's very good. Then his third year here right now, his last contract, you know, his contract year, he has not performed very well. And, you know, when Quentin Nelson went down, Chris Reed got a shot to fill in for Quentin Nelson. And Chris Reed actually broke out and was a very good guard in that time. For the shoes he had to fill, everyone was noticing him. Everyone was noticing how well of a run blocker and a pass blocker he was and he is. So, you know... While Quinn Nelson was out, Chris Reed rose his stock tremendously. Honestly, I was surprised Chris Reed got to the Colts. I'm surprised Chris Reed, you know, signed with the Colts for so cheap. I thought another team would have picked him up, maybe like the Bengals, the Dolphins, or someone like that. So, Mark Lewinsky, right, we love him. He was very good for a few years, but you know what? Chris Reed is better right now, and we don't have no time to waste. Put Chris Reed in where Mark Lewinsky is. Don't get me wrong, Glow. I love you. You're very good for a few years, but when it's someone else's time, it's someone else's time. And I think it's Chris Reed's time to take over that right guard spot and take the starting job for a little while, or at least for the re for the rest of the year. You know. So I have a question: Do we trade Mark Lewinsky? Do we use him as trade value, or do we keep him for depth? I think we keep. I think we keep him for depth. You know, he. You know, he's gonna be solid depth. It's just, Chris Reed is just playing so darn well right now. It's so hard not to play him. Why take him out while he's playing really well? And while Glowinski is not playing very well, put Chris Reed in. You know, Ryan Kelly's been very good. Eric Fisher has been eh. Braden Smith hasn't really played much, but Matt Pryor was okay. You know, we had some decent depth offensive line play over the last few weeks. And thank gosh. Thank gosh we have because we needed it. We needed it with all those starters out, all the starters getting hurt. We needed it, most of them. So some people's going to make the argument. Some people's going to get mad about this. They are going to get mad about this. Some are. But the truth is you can't be scared to put in who's playing better now. You can't be scared to move him up. You can't be scared to win. You can't be scared. That's how you become a contender. You got to put that, you know, the love aside for that player for how long he's been here and, you know, realize it's football. You know, do we don't want to win now, or do we not want to win now? Do we want Do we want to wait until later to put Chris Reed in, or do we want to continue to let Carson Wentz get hurt or or get hit a lot? And Mark Lewinsky just struggling. You know, Glow has just struggled. It's it's just facts. You know, he's been very. You know, he's he's inconsistent. You know, he's not reliable every week anymore. You know, I'm not saying he's terrible, but he's not great. He's mediocre, if that right now. He's a little he is he is actually below average. Honestly. And I'm gonna tell you all it is. I'm gonna tell you what I'm seeing. I'm not I'm not gonna hold my opinion back. I'm gonna give you the truth of what I'm seeing. We're one hundred percent around these parts. And Chris Reed's playing better football right now. But Chris Reed were Glow is. And some people are gonna make the argument that Glow or that Chris Reed has had more help with, with Eric Fisher and Ryan Kelly. Eric Fisher has not played very good on his own. And then you go over to Mark Lewinsky. He has Ryan Kelly to the left of him. And then he has Matt Pryor as well. I get it. Glow should be holding it down more though than Pryor. Because Glow has been there for a while. He's been very good. But I think his time is up. I think it's time for Chris Reed to step in that spot. And just run with it. He has earned it. He has earned the right to start over Glow. He has earned the right to be... Overglow on the depth chart. It's just where both players are right now going in different directions. You know, maybe if Chris Reed really continues to have this great year, maybe we resign him for another year or two, which I can see. So let me know what you guys think about this idea, having Chris Reed start over Mark Lewinsky, even though it's already been shown that Frank Reich, this Colts team has not been scared to share the snaps, and see who is better and see who is willing to take that spot more. And it's Chris Reed. Chris Reed showed that he wants to spot more. Not saying the glow doesn't want it. 
just about just as I've been saying, Chris Reed is just a better player right now. He's playing much better football right now, and I want to continue keeping it like that. I I want to keep him in. I want to keep him in. So that's mainly going to be it for this episode. Make sure that you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future uploads. And thank you for watching for this episode of the JDW Sports Talk Show. You know, let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you think Chris Reed should start over Glow? Do we? Do you think maybe we use Glow for some trade value, some trade bait at the deadline? Maybe another team wants to plug in a, another offensive lineman. Maybe the Cardinals want another offensive lineman. Maybe the Bengals want another interior offensive lineman. We don't know. Maybe the Raiders make a move. Maybe the Dolphins make a move on Glow. There's a lot of teams that can use a guard, but the Dolphins are not really, you know, looking for playoffs right now. They just need to get a lot of things figured out right now. So that's all I got for you guys today. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace out, Colts Nation, NFL Nation, NFL fans. Catch you next time.